Hi, James. It's Miss Culver. How are you? Um, I thought um, I would just shoot a video of uh, working out two problems on 9.2, the 9.2 quiz. If you need more help after this, let me know. But I thought this way you can watch it when you want, uh, later today, um, after school, something like that. I will ask you tomorrow if you need more help if I don't see an email from you. So here's two different problems. They, it looks a mess, right? But what we're gonna do, these are piecewise functions. We're gonna break them into pieces. So what the first function says is, you have this function negative x squared, that's an upside down parabola on a graph, but only where x's are between zero and three. And then where x's are from three to six, the function is a two, like just a flat, that flat line at two, okay? And what they're asking us for is to find f of zero, okay? When we, when they give us one x, we are not going to have two different answers because there's two different functions. We're going to choose the correct function and use that one function, okay? So if you notice where they saw an x, they put a zero. Now here's what we do first. We don't know which function to use, so we look here first, okay? And what we do is we put our x in and see which one is true, okay? So I'm going to do that in purple. See this x right here? I'm going to put in a zero because that's what X is. I'm going to put a zero here. Now let's see which one of these statements is true. And whichever statement is true, we're going to use that function to write our answer. Okay. Is zero less than or equal to zero? Yes, it is. Okay. This means I'm going to use this function. Let's check the next interval though. Is zero in between three and six? No. That is why I'm not going to use that function. Okay, so what do I do next? I'm gonna use this function. They told me X is zero, so I'm gonna put a zero in. Negative zero squared equals zero. And that is my final answer for one X, I only have one Y, okay? Let's look at this next function. This next function has three pieces and they first want us to find the answer when F is a negative one and then when F is three. And again, these are X's that they gave us, okay? So let's put in a negative one for X first in these intervals to see which function we use. Okay, I'm gonna put a negative one right here for this x. Okay, is it true that negative one is greater than negative five? Yes, it is. Is negative one less than negative one? No, it's not, it's equal to it. Okay, not using this interval. Let's go to the next one. When I put in a negative one for x, is it true that negative one equals negative one? Yes, it does. This is the function that I'm using. And actually, that is just my answer. There's nowhere for me to put an X in. This function is always zero. And so my answer is zero. Okay, let's do F of three. Let's go back to the beginning. Let's see. Let's put in a three for X. When I put in a three, is three in between negative five and negative one? No, I am not using the top function. Let's put a three here. Is three equal to negative one? No, it's not. This is not the function I'm using. Let's put a three in here. Is three in between negative one and six? Yes, it is. This is the function I'm going to use, negative x. My x is three. And so my answer is negative three. Again, so notice I take my x, decide which function I is happening at that x. 
right? By testing the intervals. And for each X, I only have one answer. I hope this helps you. Let me know if you need more. Thank you.